This is question number six. We're told a sequence x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 and so on is defined by x sub 1 is equal to 1, x sub n plus 1 is equal to x sub n squared minus k x sub n with n equal to or greater than 1 where k is a constant and k is not equal to 0. In part 8 we're asked to find an expression for x sub 2 in terms of k. The question carries one mark. So if n is equal to 1 if we substitute this in, on the left-hand side, we'll have x sub 2. On the right-hand side, we'll have x sub 1 squared minus k lots of x sub 1. We know that x sub 1 is equal to 1, so we can say that x sub 2 will be equal to 1 squared minus 1 lot of k, which gives us now 1 minus k. In part b for 2 marks, we need to show that x sub 3 is equal to 1 minus 3k plus 2k squared. So this time n will be equal to 2. On the left hand side we'll have x sub 3 and that will be equal to x sub 2 squared minus k lots of x sub 2. We have our expression for x sub 2 so we can say that x sub 3 will be 1 minus k, which we need to square, minus k lots of 1 minus k. If we expand this out, we're going to have 1 minus 2k plus k squared minus k plus k squared. So tidying this up, we can see that this will be 1 minus 3k plus 2k squared as required. So all I've done is simply subbed in now that n will be equal to 2 and use our value in the last part of the question to show that x sub 3 is going to be equal to 1 minus 3k plus 2k squared. It says given also that x sub 3 is equal to 1, in part c for 3 marks, calculate the value of k. So what I'm going to do is simply now set this expression right here equal to 1. So what we can say is 1 will be equal to 1 minus 3k plus 2k squared. The 1s are going to cancel and we can look now at factoring this expression right here. So I can take a common factor of k. That's going to give me now 2k minus 3. So our algebra says that k is either equal to 0. So k is equal to 0. Or we have now 2k minus 3 is equal to 0, which would give us k is equal to 3 over 2. We're told here that k cannot be equal to 0, therefore we've got k is equal to 3 over 2. In part d it says, hence find the value of the sum from n to 1 of x sub n. The question carries 3 marks. So we're looking here to sum the terms from 1 to 100. Now if we consider we already have x sub 1, x sub 1 is equal to 1. If we now look at x sub 2, our value for x sub 2 can be gathered from this part right here. And we can see that's going to be 1 minus k. Now 1 minus k is going to be 1 minus 3 over 2, which is going to give me minus 1 half. We know that x sub 3 is going to be equal to 1. And if we wanted, we could go ahead and look at x sub 4. What we're going to see is that this pattern will continue. If you want to show that, you can look now when n is equal to 3. So when n is equal to 3, we will have x sub 4 will be equal to x sub 3 squared minus k, which is now 3 over 2, and then we're going to have x sub 3. So if you want to check this, you'll see now that this is going to continue. We're not expected to sum this. We're looking for a pattern. So x sub 4 is going to be equal to x sub 3 squared, which is going to be 1. And then we're going to have minus 3 over 2, lots of 1. And again, we can see now that this is going to give us x sub 4, and that's going to be minus 1 half. And this will continue. So what we're going to have then is the sum from n is equal to 1 to 100 of x sub n will be equal to. And what you can say here is x, x sub 1, x sub 2 and so on and so forth. Or you can say now 1 
minus one half plus one minus one half. Now, if you consider what we're going to have now is 50 lots of one plus minus one half. Therefore, what I can say now is that the sum will be equal to 50 lots of one minus one half. That's going to give me 50 lots of one half, which is going to give me 25. So that's one way of doing it. So all I've done is considered now bracketing these off. We're going to have now all of these and we're going to have 50 of them. So that's one way of doing it manually, checking these values. Either way around, there's going to be lots of flexibility in terms of the three marks on offer.